Do you want God's plan for your life? Do you want to discover your calling? Do you want to build a business that's aligned with God's will? Hey girl, hey, I'm Jeanette, business and faith coach. After a decade in the military, the Air Force said, see you later, and I had to find my true calling. Want to know how God directed my life from a cybersecurity engineer to a faith and business mentor? In this podcast, I'll teach you how to start a business, how to know your business is God's calling, monetization techniques, how to trust the Holy Spirit, and how to set boundaries to listen to His Word alone. Ready to become unapologetically unstoppable? Hey girl, hey! I'm so excited to talk to you about these things because I think it'll really help you because it's going to really help me too. So are you working in your business or on your business? Where are you in your business? Because I think a lot of the times we, me anyways, I get stuck in preparation paralysis where I'm like, okay, I have to have all these things perfect before I even let anybody in the front doors because if they don't see the perfect everything, then they're not going to want to buy from me. And when that happens, that means that I'm not doing the things that I should be doing, like showing up in social media or marketing correctly or doing any of those things because I'm working on the back end of my business. I'm working on automations and funnels and sales pages and emails and all the things that it takes to run a business rather than showing up as the face of my business. Because when we're coaches, we are the product. We are the product. So if I'm not showing the product every day, me, then people will forget that I am available for purchase, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm selling my services. I'm selling my, my knowledge about God, my knowledge about business, my knowledge about funnels, my knowledge about automations, my knowledge about how to strategically plan for your new business. And nobody's going to know that if I'm working in my business. Because nobody knows who else is in my business, right? Because they're not showing up on social media for me. So I need to redo my schedule. I don't know about you, but in the summer, I kind of get off on a tangent of, oh, it's summer. I just want to be outside. I want to be with my kids. I want to be in the pool. I want to do all the things. And I'm not really focused on the things that I need to be focused on, which, which means I should be batch doing things. I should be batching. My ADHD brain will not allow me to batch unless I like get way ahead which I can do sometimes, but I'll get way ahead and then I'll be like, oh, I've got time. The procrastination sets in. And then uh, it's like the week before an episode's supposed to go out and then I'm recording it, i.e. right now. When normally I've been going two, three weeks ahead and so I need to fix that. So instead of working in my business for the next couple of days, I'm going to be working on things that will help me stay strategically in the right place and in the right frame of mind. Because when I'm in the right frame of mind, then I can show up better in my business. And when I'm just focused on the little minute things of, is this email sequence correct? Is it going out on time? Are they being tagged right? I'm not thinking about, am I showing up? Am I being the authentic self that I am? Am I showing up in a way that makes people want to be attracted to me and not in a weird sexual way, but like in a, oh, she's cool. I want to know more about her or she's cool. I want to hang out with her because I am cool and you should want to hang out with me. I mean, obviously, but I need to do that in a different way. So I'm going to start blocking my schedule off. Like this is not a new thing for me to think of, but it's going to be new in the sense of not worrying about everything else. And when I when I block my schedule and I set forth the things that I need to do first in the day that needs my creative brain, I can do the other technical stuff later on in the day. But I gotta get creative first. And I also need to drink my water, exercise, take my meds on time. Those are things that I need to do like as a human being to work at the optimal level that I know that I'm capable of. There's a lot of things I cannot do, but setting myself up for success is one of those things. So when I'm working 
in my business instead of on my business, I show up like a rock star. I show up like Beyonce, okay? I show up like, yes, everything is on fire and I am the lead fireman and everything is going out just how I designed it to, right? But when I'm working in my business, it's hard for me to see anything beyond the one thing that I'm working on. And when that happens, I'm not showing up on social media. I'm doing the bare minimum, which is not how I like to live my life. I don't like doing bare minimum work. I like full bootying it, like full, like not half booty, like full bootying it, right? Like I want to show up in the fullest version of myself, the most authentic way that I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to start changing my calendar. I think on Mondays, like I, I was talking to this girl that I know she's, she was in my mic drop Academy and she like literally does, does this. She literally does this. And so she's got like a certain days that she, that she works certain days that she has meetings, certain days for this, certain days for that. And I need my schedule to look accordingly. So I'm going to talk to my VA. We're going to change my calendar around and I'm going to start blocking my schedule off in my calendar of things to do. Cause some days I'll just like show up to work downstairs in my basement in my office. Some days I'll just show up to work and be like, okay, what's on the, what's on the agenda today? What do I need to do? Blah, 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 blah. It's not show up. It's not drink your water first. It's not go walk outside first. The days that I walk outside first are the days that I'm like lit on fire for business because I have the space to just think. Because when I'm walking, I'm not doing things. I'm not like, oh, I need to do this, this, and this. It's not a checklist brain function. It's a flow brain function. And I like working in the flow better because it feels more aligned with who I am as a person. Because when I go back to the checklist version of me, it's more like the military version. Which, I mean, it's a version that I lived for a long time, but I'm not that person innately. I'm not that person. It's something that I had to adapt to. So I want to get back to who I was actually created to be and do the things that light me up for that. So I'm going to start walking every day instead of just some days. I'm going to start drinking my water every day instead of just some days. So I think that you should think about how you're going to structure your calendar and batch the things that you need to do. So I'm going to start batching my social media. I'm going to batch my podcast episodes and I'm going to really only do meetings on certain days. I'm going to have strategic plans for the week on Mondays because that's what I need. I need that in my life. And if the rest of the team can't get down, then they can't get down and that's fine. But I need somebody who can. So that's where life is. And I just want to end this with a quick prayer for you. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for the person listening to this podcast. I know that when two or more are gathered, you are here in the midst. And that means that you are here with them wherever they are listening, in their car, on their walk, whatever they are doing, you are here with them, Lord. And I just ask that you you soften their heart, that you help them with their business, that you put a blessing, a hedge of protection over their business, so that way they can do what they are meant to do for you and for your glory. Amen. Wow, that was so good. So I know that you know somebody that also needs to hear that. So share this episode, leave a review. And I would love if you could watch my free workshop at JeanettePeterson.com slash missing piece. I'll see you guys over on the grams at Jeanette.Peterson. Bye.